I, I, it's great when you win a game by three touchdowns and there's not a lot of uh, stress and you feel like you executed on all levels. Uh, that being said, when you do have the games with the overtime wins or against Goffstown or Exeter, uh, I think it's, you know, it's, someone had mentioned about being battle tested, I read today. And I, and I love that phrase because it, it really does strengthen you as a coaching staff, as players, as a program to be in that situation, whether it's later in the season or in the postseason, to say, hey, listen, we've had our backs against the wall, we've been down before, uh, and, and to know that we can come back um, and, and still take the win when needed, especially you know in the game against Concord, being in an overtime situation, that may happen again this, this season, uh, whether it's postseason or not, and to have our guys have that confidence to say, hey, we, you know, we, we've been, been here before. It's definitely good to be put in those situations because that's what true champions go through. They go through being down. They have to overcome adversity. And our defensive coordinator has been talking about keeping your composure the whole time. So I think when you face those type of situations, the composure is going to get you through that, and that's what happened the last two games. I think it's good for our team. It just means that we have the resiliency to make it far into the playoffs. Um, so it's huge to know that we can you know, stick to the game plan and uh, things will work out. So it's big for us. Uh, we, we, throughout each week, put our guys in situations where it's, you know, the situational plays, you know, ball in the 20 heading out and we have a minute 30 in the clock and we get the pressure going. Um, we've done several situations, not overtime scenarios, but red zone situations where I, I felt good about it. When we had scored and then scored the two point conversion, um, I felt a good sigh of relief knowing that if nothing else it was going to go into a double overtime and then the guy stepped up really big defensively once again to, uh, to end the game. It feels nice, especially uh, coming off last year, you know, at the end of the season just kind of took a turn for the worse and now that we know we have a playoff game and it's at home it's nice to know and in front of our home crowd and everything it should be fine. Even closer. We still have at the most five more weeks but our goals have been since day one for the state championship. We're not going to be content with 7-0, 8-0, 9-0. No. Um, honestly, I wouldn't be content really if we did anything but with the state championship. That's been my goal since the central loss last season. I'm sure some of the other guys on the team can tell you the same thing and they're, they're just thinking about the state championship. Great job Friday night. Very tough opponent. We had, you guys know this, but just where my mind is, we had two guys and two stars out with concussions. We had three stars, uh, you know, if you count Tyler with his ankle. We had four guys with uh, Jalbert that couldn't play. We had Tucker just before the game. Where's Tucker now? Okay, just before the game, had to go home. I think he was just tired. He didn't want to play. Um, but he did a heartbreak for you, and it was tough for us. All right, I figure, all right, you know, we'll put Sabian. Sabian comes out two plays later with a broken finger. Put John, okay? And John, I talked to you over the weekend. What impressed me the most about this guy, and I said this to one of the reporters, having 130 plus kids in our program, it sounds great, it means nothing. It means nothing. We can't as coaches say, hey, we've got depth, we're gonna put him in. John, you had some big plays that you blew up. It's just, it's not so good with you. You missed coverage, whatever. What you didn't do is hang your head. And what we didn't do as teammates is get on and start yelling at them and have contention because we've never had here at Federal High School. We are a family. And you ended up in the last play of the game coming through a bit. And you had some other good stuff. Right? So we show that we have depth that isn't just numbers. Depth that can make a difference in the game. So great job. All right? Um, running back here. Colin's going to look to the inside back for scraping across or the safety, number 12 here. Okay? He runs through, doesn't get anyone. Okay. Who's my tight end here? Andy. Andy, what do you do that's good here? Please say nothing. Okay. You, you, you stay in your man, and I, I'm not saying this to be a jerk here. You, you fit on him, and then what happens? I don't know if you took him outside or he took you outside. It's a perfect play. We want to ideally pin him right here. Okay. If we watch this here, you come back with tight. Boom, man. Boom, explode for you. If I pause it, right. Now as you transition, you start to transition forward, there's no way you can hit that ground. Literally, you know, when I watch you transition, hit that grass, hit that turf with your hand, so you explode it forward. Okay? You yeah, actually, one thing uh, Hoagland and uh, Austin did a very good job of um, was keeping outside in force. Um, I thought both of you guys did a pretty good job um, on run support from outside in. I agree with you. Thanks. Except for this play here. Um, watch Daniel here. Daniel, you have good outside contain? This question. Question take two. Does he have good outside contain? Outside contain. Yes. Now, coach always stresses trust the other guys around you. Trust the other ten guys behind you. Let them do their job. 
Good pursuit here. Inside out from Mike, outside in from Austin. Keep going. He sees something, now he pops in. This kid was good. He plants his foot one more time and cuts outside, then we're caught sleeping. Okay? So I, I do agree. Most of the night, you guys did a real good job. Outside in support. This is Joseph also. Phenomenal job. I, I think we talk about the character of the team, the resiliency in, in an overtime win like that the past three weeks, which is huge. Too many teams, no matter what they might say verbally, the coaches say, the players, I truly think they get their back into the red zone and they think they're going to score. Let's just let them score and let's get out of here and get the ball back. And we do, we've done a phenomenal job all season saying, hey, I'm good on the one yard line. Doesn't mean they're going to get the ball in. This is a huge, huge play right here. We realize that we have, you know, a, a, a tough next few weeks ahead of us. You know, we got Dover, which uh, is struggling this year, but we're not going to take them lightly. We, we've uh, learned lessons in the past. And then we have a very tough opponent against Central, uh, and that's still fresh in our memory from last year. So it feels great to be where we are. You know, it's one step closer to our goal, but uh, we're, we're not sitting back at all. No, we can home field playoffs. Can we lose the next two games? Yes, we can lose the next two games. Would we still be in the playoffs? Yeah. Yes. Would we still host? Yes. Okay. It's a trap. Okay. You hear about trap games yet? I don't care what Dover's record is. Okay. You go into Dover thinking you're better than you are, then either we're going to lose, it will be a shock to the entire state, people will talk about it for years, okay? but it's a possibility. Okay. It's a possibility. <sighs> I don't, I don't worry about it with this group per se. I worry about it with any group. You know, and as much as we say as, as grown men, as coaches, you know, when you have high school kids, and I mean this with all respect, that uh, realize we're 7-0, and we've clinched the home field you know, playoff spot. Um, we've got to make sure that we continue to do our job as a program, coaches and players, to, to not um, fall into that trap game, whether it's Dover or Central. Um, you know, I think, you know, above and beyond just losing a game, which is fine. We, we don't need to win out. Um, but you can have injuries that happen sometimes that don't need to if you go into a game overly confident. So uh, we're, we're, we're aware of that. Uh, our guys understand that, you know, you don't get a whole lot of opportunities and don't take any game for granted. So we're just going to play the next two games like we've been playing and hopefully get uh, two more wins, stay undefeated. Well, I, I think we are definitely ready for Dover. Obviously, we can definitely beat them. But... I'm, yeah, I'm a little worried that kids are a little too relaxed, and um, a lot of kids are, are kind of hurt, I guess, but they probably could play, but I don't know if they are. It's just, it's just a little weird, but I mean, it's a good week for us to heal up and stuff. My philosophy is that we don't want to leave any doubt that if we do make the state championship, we don't want to look back and say, oh, but we lost to Central, or oh, we lost to Dover. There's, if we make it all the way, but with a loss, that's not gonna. That's not gonna do. That's not what we want. Um, so we just have to remember what we're here to do, and that's to win every game.
game healthy. Uh, we had some kids that didn't play. Uh, they, they were too sick. We've had a lot of sickness going around. But uh, Dover obviously is struggling this year, so it, it was a good thing to go into a game like that. Um, I believe it was the Dover game that the Concord wide receiver got hurt in. Um, so we, you know, we really stressed to our guys about always playing, you know, 100% no matter what. Um, so it, it, it was good. It was a good chance to get a lot of guys reps that don't normally get some reps. Yeah, keep, keeping our starters uh, fresh going into Central, which is going to be a tough game. You know, they're, they're big and they're physical. And that, that was a huge benefit for us with the Dover game. Um, that being said, we still have some kids out today to get sicknesses. So uh, we're still not 100% yet, but uh, I'm praying we will be by It was Friday. good that, um, first off, we took care of business like we were supposed to. Definitely good that there was no injuries happening. I'm honestly really surprised by my teammates, how lightly they, or how they didn't take Dover lightly, and how no one was looking forward to the Central game. So I thought it was really good that we came out of that game with the W. First with thing no I'm going to say is that it's going to be a tough game. The Central team's had a lot of close, uh, close calls. They've lost, I think, every game they lost by is like a touchdown or less than that. Um, the second thing is, this is another revenge game for us. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Our original statement, our original goal was to get the state championship, and we told the guys we didn't have to win out. Uh, now that we're at the point in the season where we're 8-0, we, we realize we've already secured a home field uh, playoff spot, but uh, we're not satisfied with that. You know, it's uh, some redemption that's going to take place this Friday night against a very good central team. You know, they're 3-5, they're and five, but they're on a three-game winning streak, and the majority, I think four of the five games they lost were close. They're, they're real